Hello everyone. Um, we are back after a long day of testing. Just kind of walk my dog on it. at the Mills Road Park there. I didn't bother uh, driving in between there and here uh, just because it's kind of boring. Um, wrong way. Uh, if you can believe me, we actually had a zero disengagement drive between the park and here. It was basically just this road right here. Um, that in front of us the entire way, so it's not like that's anything special. I had a couple stoplights to go through, and that was it. That did well. That did well right here. I waited for all the traffic to go by. And it, well, it creeped up, first of all. Creeped up. Then waited for all the traffic to go by. And then, um, it, uh, went out and proceeded at a good speed. Uh, that's, they did an excellent job, actually. Not sure why it's breaking right here. Okay, it should be slowing down. Saw it should have seen those brake lights, and yeah, this is slowing down too aggressively here. It should have seen the light up ahead. This is one where I'm afraid the wide angle camera isn't gonna be a high enough resolution to see the traffic light up ahead. So I'm not sure if that's going to be able to be improved or not over time. Because you're kind of going out at an angle like this uh, when you're coming up to the stoplight. And it has improved since I first got stoplight detection, for sure. But it's still, when there's cars braked up ahead, it's not slow and soon enough to not just jam on the brakes before it sees the cars, essentially. I'm hopeful for this drive to be zero disengagements as well. Uh, if we can make it past, essentially if we can make it past this intersection up here, we'll probably have a good chance. I'm going to go ahead and lower our speed down. I'm hopeful, maybe they fix the stop sign here, we'll see. No, it's still trying, it's still tried to stop the stop sign. I've been trying to get that fixed literally since last year. Um, they have not fixed it. Maybe if I just directly report it to them. Like, hey, fi <laughs> fix the stop sign. <laughs> They'll just manually fix it. I've had that since traffic uh, stop sign control came out. This is improved, though. It might be because we have a forward card. Mm, what's it doing? Wow, I, okay. Then it disengaged, but I needed to give it more confidence. Not sure the people behind me are like, what is going on? <laughs> um, that was worse than 9.2. Um, it could be because there was extra traffic than what I normally see. But, um, wow, it was still slowing for that yellow light, even though I was already past it. Such interesting behavior. So this is the yellow coming up. Slow. It's a slow sooner. Now it's red. Okay. It also doesn't need a blinker right here. I, I just gotta. I'm just gonna ignore everyone else around me then. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to um, with the beta update. The car is doing erratic behaviors unless there's a police car around you, and you just kind of gotta gotta pretend um, that is not your fault. I guess. I'm in full control of the car at all times. They gotta make that clear. But um, sometimes you question the type of behaviors that happens like this. You saw the speed limit went from 35 to 20. Um, no one goes 20 in here, everyone goes 30. Oh, this is good. This is a good decision. Very good decision. And it handled that superbly. It could be the, the Mazda behind me blew me in, but this that's exactly what should have happened right there. This is what actually has caused the last like four disengagements. Like the last four times I've done this have all been like single disengagement drives. And it's because I was in the right lane there and I it did not get over in the left lane. Or it was this turn up here. Where this car is turning. I did not get in the turn lane. You can see it. Now turn left onto 6th Avenue West. 
This seems improved. This is the first time I've done this on beta 10. That was good. Though it still is. You have to read the speed limit sign right there. It doesn't accelerate as quickly going around it though. What would happen previously is it would um, miss the speed limit sign and just start accelerating up to 40 mile an hour on this road even though it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit. So uh, that's, that's a problem that still needs to happen. That's been happening I think since I got the beta. Same thing as that stop sign. Um, maybe I'll go directly respond in an email because I, I, at, this, at a certain point I'm like look it, like it's been it's been a year almost um, November I think well eight months uh, ten months or so since I got the beta and it is still not fixed and it's been over a year since I got traffic light and stop sign control and I think over a year for speed limit detection as well so those are the things that just it shouldn't be doing anymore um, even if they have to be hard-coded at this point I suppose that would be pretty nice This is another spot where it should go ahead and start up in the speed limit. There used to be a sign right here, and it's hard-coded. Well, it was hard-coded. Huh. There it is. Um, it goes back up to 45 mile an hour right here. I'm not sure why they got rid of that sign. The goal we're looking for right here is it needs to stay in this lane all the way to the highway. And if we, if we stay in this lane all the way to the highway, there's a very good chance this will be a zero disengagement drive. So it's slowing down for this car, but not for the traffic light, I don't think. That's where I would have started slowing down as well, right where that car started slowing down. And it needs to go ahead and move the speed limit down to 40, because as soon as you pass this stoplight here, the speed limit goes to 40 mile an hour. And you don't want to be going, in my case, I could be go if this light was green, I'd be going 50. That has happened. And you really need to slow down to 40 as you're going through the light. Instead, it's still going 50, and that's... I have seen... Uh, every spot like this, I've seen a cop car sitting there waiting the, the... I wouldn't even call this a speed trap, really. You're just... You just messed up if you're going 10 over in this spot. Let me rephrase that. Going 15 over if you're going 50. Right here. So yesterday... It's not showing it, but yesterday it showed this line. No, no, don't, don't do it. Not only is there a car right here, you can see my blind spot. We don't want to get in the left lane. The reason why is we're going, we're going so much under my set speed that it thinks that it's like, oh, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to get over on the left lane and get around these cars. But in reality, that's just not. You, you, you're not going to do that. You just, just stay in this lane. And we'll get right on the highway. I can add a Model S. Teslas are pretty, if you haven't noticed by my comments, Teslas are pretty rare around here. We have like, I think five or well, probably like, I bet we have ten that live in this area. Is it going to turn on the blinker again? Hey, there we go. That's cons No, no, don't do it. Okay. I thought it was going to really mess up there. That was close um, to messing up. Uh, the blinker is new at version 10. I wouldn't have turned the blinker on previously. It would get over and just never turn the blinker on. So that's a good improvement. So let's see. Also, this is new right here. Model Y. Let's see if it turns on the... shouldn't be it's double lane changing again I don't maybe that's I, I'm going to snapshot it maybe that's not a problem to me that's a problem it should get on the highway and as long as the car in front of me isn't going like way slower then it should stay in the right lane no. not do that <laughs> like I'm, I'm just catching up to this white car going five over um, and so I don't want to get behind it, then you can go back over again. This is production build of, auto, uh, of autopilot, so it's not like it's created a full cell driving. Now, supposedly 10.1 is going to be single stack. 
I, I have a feeling it's going to be a downgrade at first. I'm going to set my expectations correctly. That is going to be a downgrade when we get the single stack for highway. I, I, I would be surprised if it did better than navigating autopilot, at least for the first few versions. I am okay with that as long as the expectations are set right. But don't try and explain to me that it's going to be a mind-blowing update that's like, this is going to be superior to navigating autopilot. Because I really don't think it's going to be. That being said, it will be. Like, that's the thing. It's not. It's just a matter of time. They just have to train it. So, that is what I'm looking forward to. As long as the expectations are set correctly, I will be happy to, to praise it. As long as, like, you know, try and say, oh, this is amazing when it's really not. Like, relatively speaking. Relatively speaking, the fact that my car is driving itself with a computer, that's incredible. But, and mind-blowing in that respect. But, most people look from the previous version of, is it a mind-blowing update? Is this significantly better than the previous update? Not this one. It is better. For sure, after today, I can confidently say version 10 is better than version 9.2. But this, I don't know what they done in between 9.2 and 10 in terms of their versioning, but it doesn't seem like it deserves that big of a leap. Okay, so this is an automatic lane change here. Did well. For whatever reason, people tend to like slow down a lot to get off that exit ramp. That specific exit ramp should have got over a little bit sooner, I think. But, um, yeah, that extra ramp, I don't know why. Uh, people just go like 10 under as they're exiting off that ramp for some reason. And it holds up traffic every single time. I don't, I don't know what it is, but... Mm, that actually, that was, I should have canceled that. That was... This person's... Yeah, let's go ahead and get over. So I wish right there, see how quick this lane change was? That's what I wish it would do on automatic lane changes. Just, just get over it. Like, um... Like, I'm going to do it again as we pass this car, when I think I should pass this car. Unless it turns it on automatically, right about now. Boom, just gets over. I wish automatic lane changes were that, that quick. It would make it actually a lot better. Uh, it, the reason, like, I don't like automatic lane changes is it just kind of sits there with the blinker on and then goes at the worst possible time. I think it's better still on this version of um, production build. They're, they seem to be improving it, but I bet you at a certain point they're going to stop it. They're going to improve uh, with a single stack. That's what they're going to focus on. And eventually, next year at some point, everyone's going to get the single stack between city driving and highway driving. And it's going to be a, a quite big improvement once they get it trained. That's the critical part. Once they have it trained, it's going to be a critical improvement. So this is going to be a weird area. I really hope it doesn't try and change lanes here. Trucks, this is a normal everyday issue. We have trucks on this road up and down the mountains. They can't go very fast. And so I, they're only going like 40 mile an hour going up this hill with a speed limit of 65. And so you have to make the decision, can I get around the truck in time to make the exit? I don't want the car doing that. I'd rather it just slow down. When Tesla semi truck skid on this road. Oh, it's gonna be a game changer. You won't ever have a slow truck going on this road. It's gonna be great. I deal with this almost every single time I go in in the town. We have we have to go up and down the mountain here. Okay, so this is good. I'm still looking for this not to happen. See, it went up back up to 65. I'm glad it's slowing down. Like for whatever reason, it's not paying attention to that. Like, this is really good right now. As long as it goes left here, we're good. See, look at that. It's flip-flopping to the right. I, it's such an odd thing. I'm like, it knows it has to go left. It's odd to me that it would even consider going right when it has a left turn. Stop track. Okay. 
I'm gonna wait for this car to go. And press the accelerator just to let it go. Just doing it all on its own. That's really good. I wish the speed limit would get fixed, but um, yeah. Let's see what it does for this car here. I've had it um, hit the brakes before from a car sitting there. Hey everyone, that officially makes this a zero disengagement drive. I am so happy. <laughs> this is so much better than yesterday. I don't, everyone hypothesize what's happening down below because I swear they changed settings overnight. Something happened. I don't know, I, maybe I just need to go do the same exact route again that I did uh, yesterday and see what happens because this is substantially better today uh, than it was yesterday. This is what I would call a proper update. This is what I want to see. The couple things that are worse, yeah. Most things are improved. This is what I want to see. I'm so happy about this. If you have any questions down below, uh, comments, I would love to hear your um, criticism, feedback, positivity, everything. Put it down below. I appreciate you guys as always. I appreciate the support you're all giving me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.